clearly. I'm just keeping an eye on my settings because I started dropping frames like a bastard a few minutes ago. Right, it seems to have stabilised a bit, so I'm going to get going before it starts shitting itself again. I'm actually wearing my cap and everything today because it's a bit cooler, it's even been raining. And I have my fan, which you shouldn't be able to hear unless I hold it really close to the mic. Even then you probably can't hear it. So we were... We were in Chalice Dungeon. I remember now. We had just started a new one. So... Boom, boom, boom. Check for the side paths. Side paths have what we need for the new ones. So that goes into the dungeon proper. This is where we find extra loot and sometimes new weapons and stuff. Oh, we're in the spider ones. Yeah, this is my least liked chalice dungeon. By a long shot. There's everything in here as well. Like there's chalice dungeons with debuffs and stuff later on. No, this one. Spiders. Right, we've got a uh, kind of snatcher over there. Anything else in here? Is this one of the ones with spiders in the roof? Doesn't look like it. Take this guy out. Yeah, there is a room like this somewhere that literally just rains spiders. If you run across it, they just all start dropping from the ceiling. Right, your turn. Charge. Oh, yeah, this is the 
first actual hard charge station. There's another one in there I have to come back to later. Twin Bloodstone shards though. Just what we need for even more upgrades. Right, so. We got gate across there. Fire guys with well, it's probably a drop down. Then. Maybe the next double one. Cap. And he fell off. Sneaky bugger over here as well. Staying around there. I was hoping he wouldn't do the the typical thing which happens in Souls games, which is if you knock them off a cliff too close and they survive, they'll run back with all their friends. That might lead into the dungeon proper, you know. I'm sure I didn't see a way down there. Who's in here? Swordman! This game. Yeah. He did a lot of damage. Come on. And his attacks are super delayed. Don't think I can parry him either. Are you just gonna? No, you queen up then. There you is. him on that one. He seems to swing in a circle. So. Make sure I've not actually missed a side path in here. No. no so the drop down must be into the dungeon proper then. It's one of the ones where they overlap slightly. Either that or it's the downstairs bit that I didn't look at. I mean, it's more than likely going to be the downstairs bit. Right. So. In here. Another spider. Bullets. And then we have the snatcher. later dungeons down the line. It's like the base thing you need to unlock dungeons. Right, there was a dude in here, wasn't there? There you are. Yeah, to get to later challenge dungeons, you need X amount of ritual blood and then Usually five, just five. 
making your way through. Right, so. Do not attempt to carry. Carrying useless. And watch out for that. I could probably get behind him on one of those. So that's the big circle that I think it's time. That's slightly too slow. Okay. Ooh, gem. Might be useful. Tempering gem gem. And there's the fancy sound to say we found the end of this side path or found the main treasure for it. So now we head downstairs, see what's down there. You can hear a crying one. I'm sure I heard her then. walking down here. Come down here. Another snatcher. Can I get down behind him? Will he let me? He will. And I instantly made him angry to me. Stones and chunks that we need for upgrades now, isn't it? Anything hiding over here? Nope. Good. Treat the unseen with care. Where we got dead bodies. Oh, is this the first one that's got the hidden door? Is it? No? Apparently not. What do you say? Treat the unseen with care, eventually, not. Time hidden back. Mm. I just been dumb. I know there's a hidden path in one of these. Oh, there. I was hitting the wrong wall. Right then. Um, we got up here. We got a chest. Chest has Sage's wrist. Right. Good. We need that for later dungeons. And we got a fair bit of souls from that. Or blood echoes. So we shall light this lamp. This is how far we've made it from that lamp there to this lamp here. And we will duck back in. See if we can't get a few a level or two. Right. Check upgrades first. Punch Gavin in the face. Oh no, did the game just crash? Mm. 
Garman take revenge from here. Uh, punching his face. Garman? Anything? What if I do this? I have been playing the weave game. Actually pretty cool. It's like an arena fighting game. Let's try again. Yeah, I know. It's because the game crashed. Connect to server, yada yada. Still in the hunter's dream, so I should be good. I should still have all my my blood echoes and everything. Yeah, it's dropped us right here. Right. Upgrade pistol. You now both require chunks. Uh your boat. Oh, yeah. None of you. Anything cool in here? Fire paper. Bolt paper we've both got. We'll get. Because they do have a really cool use. Oh, it's Henrik's stuff. Shame and bone blades actually have a really cool use. Um, well, what is it? Very one well, during a boss fight. One during DLC. And we're level fifty. Hi, Dave. Spare the rest on blood vials. That way I never run there. So how many have I got now? I've got 71 stored, 100 odd bullets stored. Got a few of everything else. More pebbles than the world. Got like... Need to get some more bolt paper at some point. How are you doing Dave? I'm currently midway through Chalice Dungeon. And enjoying the fact that it's actually rained today, so I'm not roasting. Door, see what we've got. Kitty group. Oh, is it tomorrow you get the kitten? <sighs> Does it have a name yet? Have you got any photos of it? I want to see, I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. Right, do I go up? Do I go through here? You are boss door, so we're gonna go up. Hey Brina. How are you doing? Right. Does this open or are you locked off? Does not open from this side. So there's only this way. we got here? Skinny man. we got half down. Right. 
we're going this way because there's a witch this way somewhere. Otherwise, we'd go to the next one. We're going to catch all the spiders. We wouldn't. Get a bitch. Get rid of the red ones. Ico. Yeah, Pepper will scoff it. Right, uh Ow. Switch is down there. So this is where we need to go. Nice short route to unlock the boss door. Stop that. There's a big dude with a sword again. That's Boston is not. Now we can explore. I have not even had a look yet, Brina. Granted, I still have a pile of games on Steam that I've barely even touched. What I do have on Steam, though, I have the entire Legacy series. I am tempted to play that at some point. I might do it on stream. I don't Oh, this is a spider drop room. Oh, there they are. Those big pebbles. Mm. There we go, make them come to me. Hey, poor. Get you. Right, spiders are dealt with. Where do we go from here? Ah, oh, is this a shortcut door? This is what I can see. Background. Is that it? So, yeah, we came into here. We ran through here because the spider were following us. The spider came out, so there's down here to go. It's down here. Anything? Anything at all? <laughs> Poor Brina. I'm alright, Bart. It's actually nice and cool today. It's been raining. So I've not just been sat here and melting. Right, so, if I go back through this way, it's just going to lead to this door down here, isn't it? Yeah. So there's this door, and then the door upstairs that I just unlocked. And there is a Chinook flying past. It's been an age since I've seen one of those fly round here. Right, so yeah, we've been that way. It looped back there. Unlocked the boss door. Boss door it is then. <gasps> Pubrina. So do I. I have been... There was enough for the antiest means. Right, there's 
no side doors here. Which boss are we going to get? Who this? Oh, this way. This could be painful. These guys are going to be painful. <laughs> Brina's losing into a fight with grass. <laughs> Bully Witch is next Tuesday, Brina. You'll have to wait till then. <laughs> right. So this is going to be. Harry time. Oh, is that the fully randomized version of it? Fully randomized room world, spawn in, immediately land next to an infestation. And get screwed. Right, I need to try and keep these guys separate. to get the parries it's the only one i'm gonna gonna it's the only way i can safely do damage to them and get a decent amount off at least it is a short boss run foxy is unique in the way that he will emerge from pirate cove faster or slower depending on how often the player foxy has the camera open one years. if the player opens the camera too little he will emerge faster until he has left the cove
Thanks, Dave. Haggard underscore Benji, they just resubscribed for 11 months. Congrats on getting more of my money by the way. I don't think I've got anything I can use to make it a bit easier. if we can't get a cheeky poison off just for the hell of it. it usually takes four or five knives to get poison off on somebody. Depends on individual resistances. It works, it just doesn't do much.
probably got a gun on your little lantern. Now he gets his club out. He changed his mind. off it. <laughs> yeah, those three are a pain. Like any bosses like that where there's multiple of them are always a pain. But, uh, can't do any upgrades. Welcome home. That what is it here? Chunks. Very Can well. Level? Let me need a couple more thousand. Farewell, good hunter. May you and now is the time to Burn. Got any of these? Yeah, we do. Welcome. That'll give us another level. Very well. Wanna get my endurance up to twenty, and then everything will be going into skill and vitality. Farewell, good mate. Spend the rest of the vials. And then we'll grab the last bit of Henrik's set. Oh yeah, there's the other well over here, isn't there? On to the next level. So this one could be where it starts getting really tough. Seeing as it was taking me like a bunch of hits to take down the snatchers in the previous one. And it gets more difficult as the levels go down and then more difficult as you progress through different challenges. Jinji, okay. I'll tell you. Do you know the Muffin Man? Muffin Man. Fuck what? The Muffin Man? Jinji, the Muffin Man. Fuck what? Yes. I know the Muffin Man. Who lives on Drury Lane? Jinji, well, she's married to the Muffin Man. Fuck what? The, the Muffin Man? man. The Jinji, muffin man. the Muffin Man. Fuck what? She's married to the Muffin Man. Right. Here's Splashy. Why are we here, Splashy? There's the boss door. Anybody? No, nobody there. We've got another door. With the scorpions behind it. Ooh. And we've got Lantern Man, you go down first. Um, yeah, there's a bridge up there as well. You, trouble, you handsome fella, nothing else really, just wanted to point that out. Oh, thank you, Spike. You are a handful of fellows as well. We go. Oh, this is where the splashing is. Oh, there we go. It's 
slimes. Is it fire that you don't like? It is. I got some pebbles for my trouble. Come here. Nice misty bits where they like to throw ambushes at you. But this time there's just loads of rats. Just my pebbles. Pebbles. Handsome fella, you have probably heard already about the game, The Quarry. Are you gonna play it sometime? This one's The Quarry. I have seen a lot of the game and some of them have come out together. They brought out the new PlayStation Plus thing today in the UK. You get a massive catalogue of games, so I've been looking through that as well. Yeah, I was saying Spike, which one's the quarry? So it doesn't ring a bell for me, but I've been looking at dozens of games recently and they're all blurred together. Is that literally all there was down here? Three bullets. What a rip off. All of that for three measly bullets. Like a, a story choice game, like the um, like Wolf Among Us that Alex was playing with on the day. Ritual material and hidden path. Expecting an ambush in here just because of all this smoky stuff around. Chest, chest, more chests. There's a trap at least because you're there. Oh, so there aren't actually any enemies. There is just smoky stuff and a trap. Oh well. Don't be full hidden path that's ahead. Ooh, right. Give me chests. Ritual blood. Two mold. Anything good? More ritual blood. Right. There is a hidden path. 
that leads to the boss, right? That's where the boss is, apparently. Oh, wait. No, the boss door's upstairs. That must be a... Optional boss, maybe? Right, we'll go this way first and see. Unless the other door is a fake out or something. We got an item, what do we got? Blood vials. So we'll follow this way. See what's down this way. If not, we'll head that back, back that way to whatever boss that is. Beware of giant foe, therefore this item is effective. Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's a, it's a story game then, Spike. There's a bunch like that. They're really popular in Japan. You get like... Japan has a lot of them as well. But, uh, visual novels. So you're just literally playing through the story and you make a couple of choices that affect things. Might have a load of endings, but other than making choices of what people say at certain points, you're just watching it for the story. great one that was on PlayStation Plus a while back called Psychopaths which is literally the first series of the anime and you can just play it as a game like you literally make almost no choices in it right so that opened the boss door back there so what's this way then where do you go This is what boss doors look like. Really? <gasps> Treasure room! With bugs. Right. These are always a pain because you can't get all the bugs in them. You can get maybe one or two a go. As long as I'm hitting him, he doesn't disappear. So I've got two of them. But they will respawn if I come back. So I might do a, a jog back to the lantern to get them to respawn. Tumult. What else have we got in here? Is there anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Nothing else. Just that and the weird head thing on us. Plinth. So, we'll go back to the the lantern. Reset it. Go and level up just in case I do lose souls and stuff. Because we do have the boss door open now, and the boss door is directly across from the entrance. And we can just do a run to that room. I wonder where that is then. Unless... Sometimes there's a side path between this and the boss room. wonder if it's there. Boss door side path yeah there is so go and reset that lamp 
go and level up because I've got enough. Me, you. Welcome. Yeah, to try to become, become human to a bit nice. It just depends how they would carry it on, because those games have multiple choice endings. Never sure what. Like, they're going to have to pick one. Did it again. So the second time the game has crashed when I've gone to fortify a weapon. It just must Sometimes not. in life I'm just <laughs> sad I don't own a bath and I could lay in it for hours on end. It just must not like me killing German before I fortify my weapon. I do not like baths. I prefer showers. Always showers. Spike just wants to be like a Roman Emperor. Sat in his bath with somebody feeding him grapes. Should put me back down here. You're gonna crash again? No, apparently not. Uh, blood jam fortification. You do your fizz attack up 18. 20. But you reduce durability. Mm. Yeah, as long as we don't put any other durability bonds in, we should be good. So you're 12 at the moment, so we'll, we'll put that 18 one in. Also, yes. Feed me grapes. <laughs> uh, better pistol. I've still only got you. Yeah, if you stay in the shower long enough, you get that as well, Bart. Uh, Gimme. Not get any stored. Got some stored. Let me get some bulk paper. And more vials. Spike doesn't get out until he starts wrinkling up. That's how he does it. Do you know the, the wrinkling up thing on your fingers isn't to do with the water content or anything. It's like a nerve response. So it's like your muscles do it if you're underwater long enough. Like the sensation of it. And if you like lose the the use of nerves uh, if you lose nerves in your hand for some reason your hands no longer do that your fingers no longer do it yeah so a while back like I was watching this what was I watching out? It was a documentary. It was about um, stuff they'd tried to do to fix nerve damage in people and things. Uh, like one of the things this guy pointed out was uh, like his right arm, he'd broken it in a crash and he couldn't use it anymore. But when he got in and out of the bath, like his left hand would be wrinkly, but his right hand wouldn't. Right. Something just randomly died, so we got two bugs left. Go for this one. Is 
Stop it. Not disappearing for you. Got yours. Another tempering jump. Don't budge your arm. Oh. Right, let's go and have a look at the box. <laughs> Poor Spike wrinkling like a prune while he's trying to pick his harvest. to go down the side corridor for the boss. Also, what is 9 plus 10? 21. No. Well, that's wrong, Spike. 19. This is why you've been shortchanging all of your... Uh, all of your customers, is it? Yeah, I sent you 21 peppers. There's 21 in that box. More ratty. Scorpion. Oh, it's a strong one as well. Do not want to get stung. Stop it. Spike's an old man at heart. Spike has the boomer in his soul. Right, if we get up here, we got Snatcher. We got whatever is this way. Yeah, no, Snatcher behind. You go to the shortcut door, don't you? Um, what are these scorpions not going to like? Should we try a Molotov on one? Oh, it's got babies on it. Ew. And it's fast. Have more fire. this guy. Any more for any more? So right, this leads back to the boss run up. Is this the door I couldn't get in? Yes. Yeah, it it's in this chest. Anything good? Gimme, 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 gimme. More ritual good. Now, we look the other way. So there's Snatcher away, and then down here there'll look to be a lot of rats. So we will go in the rat direction first. What some rats? I'd like a Molotov. Side passage. Oh, it's just a little hidey hole. Ratty. 
Mira. Mean that, Brina. It's only useful if you do this attack. And it's hard to pull off, so I did just use it folded up for the quicker attacks. Smoge. Enjoy your smoge, Bart. Yeah, you can use it like that, but it's a lot slower. And that vertical attack tends to miss a lot. So I just use it like this. It does like a nice diagonal. No. Good vibe. Bullets. Right, what have we got out here? Got upstairs, nothing. Across there, we got a dog. About here, anything? And explosives. That explosion loud is the sound is super loud. Why is it so loud? Oh my weapons are risky shit. So that's the downside of the durability gem that I've got in it. it is it's dropped it a chunk actually. We got all the gear. Got lots of little dudes and a big guy. I might be able to do this route. shortcut anyway so I can come back this way without having to fight everything. Whoa. We have the rats room and then we can literally just go. Yeah I think it's the explosion sound from the um, with the pot things, I'm sure it just doubles up and layers them over each other. So, yeah, be this way. So we'll go up here and repair.
Hey look, she sat down because I uh, used all my intellect. All my insight, I should say. But you will hit Gervin afterwards. Fair. Never hit German. And then spend the rest on vials, because that's the law. <laughs> there, ten vials. Easy. Spikes first. Right, so it was down here. Oop. What about you? Run past all these bitches. And then it was drop down again. Past the rats. No, you go this way towards the dog. Ow! That was an actual cannon shot. So we're back here. One here. Yeah, there's way more damage now though. Durability is back up. That one move is in every game he has accumulated. Like where they're holding the butcher's knife kind of thing. And they hold it in two hands and slam it down like a guillotine. That is in every single game. in the chest. Anything good? Hey, is extractor. That is needed for the more complicated dungeons. Bit it lets you convert stuff into other stuff. So. Oh, it is a cannon. Two cannons. I need to run back and grab those souls now. Bastards. Run. Oh, 
Oh, the dog's got my souls. There are literally two cannons up there. It's that explosion again as all the pots went off at once. But scorpions can't find that. So we've got you. Oh, I'm far enough round. Okay. Is it kill? It is. Cold blood. Another snatcher at the top of the stairs. Two snatchers means there's got to be something good this way. Ooh. It's these two other drawbridges. This way then. Where of trap? That. Where of more trap? Ah, you are what the rats are for then, are you? So it's absolutely pointless. Ooh. Literally just a trap. Right, this way it is then, with all the loot on the other side. Music. Vials. Robot arms. Vials. Who throwing stuff? Oh, he's down. More vials. Where are they? That trap. Oh, we've got a snap trap with friends. It's pebble time again. Wait. 
There we go. It's just you left. Now what's the bet somebody's gonna jump out of these coffins? Anybody? this chest then. Anything good? Better be. Odd tempering. Oh, I forgot which ones the odd ones are. At least we have all this done now. Come on, trap. So I can get back to Head back to uh, Hunter's Dream, level up a bit more, and then go and find out what this boss is. So you're that way, so I want to go this way. Up here. And to the lantern. And we're safe. For now, anyway. Yeah, we're only a couple of thousand off, so let's burn a bit. Gems, so um, hair, or gem fortification. So odd. Mm. I know, not got any better gems yet. Oh well. Here it is, boss time again. Before anything here. Yeah. I'll buy that one vial. So, um. I'm doing the set Chalice Dungeons, Brina. There's um, set chalice dungeons that give you unique bosses. They're not randomised. And I'm alternating between doing those and doing through the actual uh, campaign of the game. So after I've finished this layer... I'll be jumping back into the main game. And come back to do layer three of this later because layer three of this is probably going to kick my ass. Now, Moon Presence is miles away. I've not even killed Rom yet. Oh. 
All right, this thing might kick my ass. It's the heart of all the giants. Because he does that. Keep it already. Just out of reach. I kept just missing it. Yeah, I think the last bosses I beat, Breener, were so Dark Beast Paul and the Witches. Can't remember. Oh, got it. So now he has his different move set. And yeah, that thing one shots. Right, we might come back to this guy later. Slay the Spire. I've heard of it. I've not played it. Let's have a look, is it the one I'm thinking of? Yeah, it's the card battle one. I don't like card battle games. Right, we are going to go and do a story. So we need to go to the cathedral. Go. Draw a line. It's a cathedral ward. Yeah, I don't like card based battle games. I don't like the randomness of them. Like you get Delta Bed. Bad hand of cards, you're fucked. Right. Oh, you've come for my Yes, please. about you old lady <laughs> ah, she's been creepy I've no time for what just I can't stay. right so which way was it from here it's out and up yeah it's this way no other crow way. Past the sleepy giant. Right. 
brain mammal. Dead hunter. And then there should be a friend out here, if I remember correctly. There he is. Oh, good to see you safe. Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. Tell me about vile bloods. Ah, there's something I want to tell you. A bit of wisdom from the eminent master Lugarius. Once, a scholar betrayed his fellows at Bergenworth and brought forbidden blood back with him to Canehurst Castle. It was there that the first of the inhuman vile bloods was born. The mm. vile bloods are fiendish creatures who threaten the purity of the church's blood healing. The ruler of the vile bloods is still alive today. And so, to honor my master's wishes, I search for the path to Canehurst Castle. I bid you may So he wants to go to Canehurst to kill things. And one day soon we will let him. Now for a fun bit. The password. Through the old blood. And he's already dead. I still need to play Monster Monster Hunter Rise properly. I own it, I got gifted it. But I've barely even touched it. So now we are in what is legitimately the worst part of the game. Like there are areas people dislike. Some people don't like the nightmares. I'm not bothered about the nightmares. Like some people don't like the swampy bits. I don't like the swampy bits. This area, Forbidden Woods. Fuck Forbidden Woods. I hate this place. If I was any good at it, I'd do the skip unless we go to the last boss. Rise is a lot like the older Monster Hunter games if you've ever played Umbrina. Um, well, the old games are made to be handheld games. So they're very pick up and play. Slashy man. I turn that on. Oh yeah, you have, haven't you? You and Chef, you've spread. Yeah, it is a lot like the older games, Brina. Yeah, it's a lot like the older, ga older games. Um, what was the one that had... The, uh... The rocket dragon is like one of the final bosses. It's a lot like that one, but I forgot what it's called. Set point. It's not entirely safe because you've got these things right now. But I'm going to wait here where it's vaguely safe. 
and grab. Back a bit. And I'm going to grab a drink and something to eat. I will probably remember the name of it later, Brina. But I think it's like Monster Hunter Try or something like that it was called. But I'll be back in a sec.
going grabbing a drink and stuff. It was a uh, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, it was called. And the dragon was called Valstrex. But that's the closest one that I've played to Monster Hunter Rise. That feels the most similar anyway. Hi, Greg. How are you doing? Joined just at the worst area, Greg. And I hate this place. Bell. Dude sets you on fire and does like quadruple damage. He's a dick. Come on, shield man. Run your friend. This is supposed to be the important one. Yes, it is because of you. Crows. And then we go. This way. I remember now. Because this takes you around the side of the town rather than directly into it when you get popped over. Yes, I remember. So there's another trap here. Oh, the woman with the little spray thing. She's a pain in the ass. The one, Greg. Yeah, she could be horrible. Hey, he gave me the tonsil stone. That means we can get into the nightmare. Right, 
So this is... Yeah, we don't want to go that way yet. You sure it's that one? Got the, that dude at the door there. And I'm gonna go in and explore these houses and stuff. And the white church there, which is something else I wanted. Now I can go and talk to the woman in the Hypogean jail and uh, trick her into going to the nasty place. Dogs, you. What we got in here? Blue Alexa. That's like an invisibility potion. I almost never use it. And then, right, I need to go around this way. There's a snatch around here, if I remember right. is came from behind vials it's in here we've got beast roar beast roar is useful especially in pvp Use it to knock people off cliffs and shit like that. It is possible to get stuck on scenery here, so I need to be careful. Like, the collision on these planks isn't great. And it is possible if you get, like, a falling animation just to get the, uh... Like, stuck there infinitely falling. Burdenworth. Filled with all the unconscionable horrors that man who can think of. Right, that's these nerds taken care of. Oh, we can actually just skip the entire town. Sweet. Yeah, because this takes us down to the oily bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It just brings me down here. Sweet. So we'll get over to this bit and then do the town in reverse. <laughs> Grab this and you go through this gate. And now we can surprise all these nerds. Pebble. is almost empty. <laughs> um. 
Hi, Block. How are you doing today? I've been celebrating the fact that it's finally rained here. So it is nowhere near as warm as it was before. Special item. What are you? Useful pellets. Anything else in this town? It's the pit. Twin bloodstone shard. Don't think there's anything over this way, is there? No. No. Right. Let's break the pit. Stupid birds. And now we can easily make our way to the next area. And I won't have people raining, because I've done the upstairs bit, I won't have people raining fireballs down on me while I'm trying to do this. Weapons in your repair again. Well, I might have to uh, swap that gem out. Right, so. This is the bit with the cannon, isn't it? If I remember right, there's another side path here somewhere. Isn't there? Yeah, there is. Gets us much closer to the cannon without much trouble. Just fire, let's go get him. Now, my turn. Well, I can't fire it anywhere near as far. Got How? He's going to be a proper lobster man tomorrow. Oh, it's tear down like the... Like the demolition one. Like you've literally just got to pull apart buildings and stuff as fast as you can. Quick win golfing. What if he wears a, a golf cart block? Then he has like the, like the nice little circle on his head where it's protected him. Oh, you're a snake man, aren't you? 
get staggered. Do not want. Go away. Ah! Battery level low. Let's cable it up. Cable is in. Right. What else is in here? We got big empty room. Big empty room. More big empty room. Got an item. My man's knowledge. I also own golf with your friends. It's an amazing game. You don't currently work. It's in this direction then. This is more progress. So it looks like we're going out the side. Both bar. They are both similar and quite good games. So that's where we're heading to. That over there is Bergamoth. How long it takes us to get there? Bugger knows. my way up. Is there a ladder? Yeah, there is. <laughs> Mario Golf. I swear that would have been g game would have been fine as long as it had. They'd implemented a decent form of matchmaking for it. Like, they could have easily, easily made it a very good game. They just cheaped out. Or it's a Nintendo thing. You never know. Right, what's this? We're on the roof. Oh, this is where the entirely trustworthy man is. Let's go to speak to the very trustworthy man. Hello. Well, well, you just happened to be surrounded by dead bodies, and you're covered well, in blood. Like this. I took you for a monster. Oh, thank the stars. You're fairly normal. Was it you who put down that awful beast? Ooh, that thing had me trembling, frozen in my boots. And then you came along. Well, if you were a hunter, then would you know of any safe havens? Yeah, that would have been a thousand times better. So we're going to send him to the clinic because fuck him. Well, I'll be. Thank you. It's about time I made a move. I can't very well stay out on my own. Oh, you're giving me hope. Terribly kind of you. Take this. It's all I can offer us, thanks. Thank you. I can't very well. And we will see this entirely trustworthy person later. But yeah, a proper lobby system would have been a thousand times better for it, Greg. Just as it is, the matchmaking was terrible. Hey, I got the cannon. Like the gun that can completely break the game. And completely changed how speedrunners play the game. I 
I don't need to kill him block. Somebody else is going to do that for me. Why I sent him to the clinic. So. Snake man's. Piss off. Of course he's getting treatments. They may not be treatments he wants, but he's getting them. Right. So we're through the easy bit of the forest. Soon to start the shit bit. Let's grab this. Go on. Bank this blood. Because this, if I remember right, is a shortcut back to the beginning area. It is. Ah, we get to meet the cool guy. Ah, a new face, are you? And an accomplished hunter, it would appear. <laughs> I am Volta, master of the League. Members of the League cleanse the streets of all the filth that spread about during the hunt. Like any half-decent hunter ought to, you know? Haven't you seen enough of these wretched beasts, freakish slugs and mad doctors? Sentence these fiends to death with the help of your League confederates. What do you say? Why not join the League? Yes. Yes. Do it. As a hunter, well should commit the start. Our own Carol Rune, symbol of the League. The night brims with defiled scum and is permeated by their rotten stench. Just think, now you're all set to hunt and kill to your heart's content. Hunt in cooperation with your fellows. <laughs> yeah, this guy's quite cool. No, by the oath of the. He was added with the DLC, and but it's basically a covenant purely for cooperation. It is the helping people one. No worries, Bart. I'm going to finish in a second because I just realised what time it is. Thor. Let's go. We will spend 29. Now, can I do it without it crashing this time? All good, right. Uh, repair. Check blood get gems. Got anything better? Does not look like it. How about you? Don't we get anything better for you either, do we? We want to take this one off purely because it's like your ability is fucking with me. So you're 112, so we'll put one of them on. So you're the durability down one. We can't really do any better with them that at the moment, so and the durability is pissing me off. Right, we'll put our impurity rune on. As is tradition, the rest of this goes on blood vials. Nineteen. And a single bullet. We got 122 vials stored, 133 bullets stores. And we will head back to the forest. Good woods. But yeah, we shall finish here for today because it is warm. 
I had made decent progress. We're like most of the way through the chalice dungeon. Where we've made it through about halfway in the woods. Uh, kill these fuckers first. But yeah, we've made a decent way through. So, wait here. Beep, 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 beep. And we shall find somebody to raid. Thank you, Greg. around <gasps> Red Sorrel or oh, is Sorrel on or is he offline and we're making fun of Greg Thrall is not on you, lie. Um. <laughs> but wait, we'll go and raid over to Yash. We've not done that for quite a while. He is playing Fall Guys. I need to play that again soon. Make sure I've spelt it right. Yes, I have. Right, we'll go say hello to Yash. Be nice. Have fun. I'll be back again on Tuesday with the Bullet Witch. We'll play more Bayonetta 2 on Tuesday. Until then, I'm going to flop and pretend to be dead. Also, I might do young, longer streams next week because I am off work. So keep an eye out and I'll say when I'm starting. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for the sub, Dave. And thank you everybody for watching. See you all next time. Bye.